Hello and welcome to Action Teacher Video. Video is a powerful tool that teachers are using to reflect on their own practice. And in this series, we feature videos produced in schools and discuss the contents and implications here in the studio. In this programme, we'll be looking at a video called Pride from the Avely School that describes their innovative approach to English and media. I'm joined in the studio by the deputy head from the Avely School, Hugh Derrick. Hello and welcome to the programme. Hello. Joining Hugh are two teachers from Thomas Tallis School, Alex Gibbons and Laura Harris. Alex and Laura, welcome. Hello. Hello. I'm also pleased to introduce a consultant and frequent contributor to Teachers TV, Adrian Jones. Hello and thanks for joining us. Firstly, Hugh, perhaps you could tell me a bit about the background to this project. What we wanted our pupils to do, and we used the vehicle of small groups of children making commercials to advertise national curriculum sub subjects. But underlying that, what we really wanted them to do was explore um, each one of those subjects, not by its content, but more about their understanding of how that subject fits in with them in their everyday lives. We were trying to answer in some sense the question that you often get as a teacher, why are we doing this? Sir? We need to have a swimming cap on. A bit of brown paper, mm. like loads of trees and rocks. Mm. A towel. This black. It's oh, got yeah, black. Oh, no. One of them big shocks, jaw, teeth things. We've got a parachute on it. They're engaged in something other than negative behaviour. They're getting attention for doing positive things instead of being hauled out of class all the time. It's the logo. M the bus stop sign. We need that. Bus stop sign. We need to find a cow. Oh, yeah. The best bit I liked about it was um, actually filming it because we get to like go to different places filming, um, try different things, uh, make mistakes, correct them and stuff like that. Um, we just wanted to ask you know, if it was possible to have one of the teachers to come with us to, to help us film our commercial. And which one of our commercials is this? Science. Science. When, in the morning. You're going to have to give me a little bit of time to check out what Mr Crudgington's responsibilities are that day. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Yeah. Um, it probably has changed the way I use my imagination because um, at the beginning we drew out um, all the possible ideas that we wanted to use and um, immediately we sort of connected the different ideas so like we had a character in a location and like we wanted to use a caveman in a cave but that's obvious like how we're going to use it so we had to think in a more creative way and sort of mix it like like we have we've got like a spy in a lake and it's it's all like made the way we think we've had to think a lot harder and work harder taking the children to to Saichi and Saichi the biggest agency in the world, getting the children to meet the director of Saichi and Saichi, that brings a message of hope. Their little dreams have to start from somewhere, and if we can feed into them events like this, which we can easily put together, I think we'll be doing a good job as teachers and partners. When you read it, you just sort of go to a different place, you're not in the same place anymore. And that's how we figured out how to have that topic. And I like the way you used the black and white and then you changed it to colour. Yeah. I like to visu like visualise the yeah. being lost in the book. That's a really, really nice idea. Really, really well thought out storyboard. Yeah. Um, which you should be very, very proud of. It's not necessarily the drawings, it's you think, you know, because none, none of us are really good drawers. It's what goes on in there. We have been monitoring uh, all the pupils throughout the course of the project in their teams and with their work back in their classroom. It's clearly evident to us that over the course of six to ten weeks, the cohesion of each team has progressed magnificently. The reports from our creative partners are that those that may initially have been a little bit quiet and holding themselves back have blossomed, and the reports from our teachers of those same pupils back in the classroom are evidencing that they're adopting a much more confident 
and outward going persona in terms of their contribution to the lessons. All the equipment is all like really high tech and everything and you've got you've got to work really well together as a team and it's a lot a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be because I didn't realise like you had to have all these like directors, assistant directors, you need so many people to, to make it work. I think this whole project has allowed our pupils to engage with their subject staff in a fashion that they have not encountered before. And we feel that any opportunity to engage with staff in a varied way always turns out positive. I've seen them out of school now, you, you see them from a different light. It's like you, you're not used to them being like that, but, and they've like let us, give, they've given us the opportunity to do this as well, as well as creative partnerships, so it's been really good. I have uh, four children that are involved in the project and um, one of them I specifically chose to see how my relationship with him goes and I have seen that he has improved a lot. He is looking at me with more respect uh, because I think he generally is interested in the project. His achievement in schools is just, in my class anyway, just improved so much. If you look at his test scores for Christmas, they were at a level 3A and now he's at a 5A. He's improved two whole levels in a term, which is amazing. It's just really working to his full potential. His attendance is terrible before Christmas and ever since he's been involved in this project, he's actually been coming to school. Nice um, scenarios that he chose. It's nice the way it gets the message that Matt is sort of involved in, in pretty much everything. So, so good things in Jake humour, which that has. With a poster you get such a little time to communicate kind of big idea. And some of them, you look at them, you think, what actually are they saying about the subject? Well, on the film, you can get it because you've got a long time, you see it. So you need yeah. to bear in mind that with a poster, you do need to keep it very simple and say the message as clearly as you can with yeah. one image, which is, which is hard. Yeah. Just hard to choose with the films, they're all very good. The ones we've chosen are kind of ones where the idea stands out as well as the production, which is yeah. always very so, important. So, so. Third place, maths. <laughs> Second place, English. History. I can't stress how impressed we are with the outcomes. What I really like about the project is this, you just see the increase in confidence. I don't know, it's why I liked it because it was different and I'd never done something like that before. In terms of what they've come out with creatively, it has been way beyond my expectations. <laughs>you gave the students a great deal of autonomy there. Was it a bit of a risk and, and what did you expect to happen? That was one of the exciting things, particularly for me. Um, I teach maths and generally uh, there's nothing that I, uh, that I know about maths that hasn't been done before. This we started off with a blank canvas and we certainly didn't know that creativity and that imagination and, and those skills were there and we wouldn't have if we hadn't engaged in a project such as this. So Alex, what do you think? The idea of bringing in uh, different subjects into your own to make it more interesting or to get the kids more engaged is something that, that I'm very, very interested in. There's so many ways that you can bring drama and the arts and, and different things like that in, things that kids can relate to and bring into a more um, real life situation and getting them engaged that way, they're always going to learn more and want to learn more. Hugh, would you say that creativity was at the heart of this project? Raising attainment was at the heart of it, but um, we had to be creative in terms of doing something different. And certainly the requirement or the, the sort of demands on the students um, called on their creativity and imagination. It's all like really high tech and everything and you've got you've got to work really well together as a team and it's a lot a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because I didn't realise like you had to have all these like directors assistant directors you need so many people to, to make it work. Hugh obviously the students really rose to the challenge I just wonder what effect did this have beyond the actual project? One of our aims was to raise the aspirations of the pupils and raise their expectations in what they can do and certainly we've been extremely successful in that. We 
particularly structured it so that the outcomes would be professional and have a wow factor to them. Uh, and when we presented them at the final showing to, to various dignitaries and parents, it was wow. The pupils at Averley School have engaged in this project and produced you know, commercials at a very high standard. And that's gone a long way because our pupils now are thinking they want to do more of that and they want to have the pride and the recognition that they got through that more often throughout their school life. Laura, this relaxed curriculum, do you think it's sustainable? I mean, what about Ofsted inspections? I think that actually um, looking, Ofsted is kind of looking towards personalisation of learning and things like that. So as long as you are covering the cu curriculum, it doesn't matter how you're covering it. So it is difficult to manage in, in the class with timetabling. We've had problems in our school with um, teachers having to be out of school quite often, which means that the teachers that are left behind in school, there's an added burden on them of um, covering the lessons and pupils' behaviour of the pupils that aren't involved in the project often deteriorates when their normal teacher isn't present. But then there's the, all the like, benefits from it as well, so it does have to be sort of weighed up, I think. I have uh, four children that are involved in the project and um, one of them I specifically chose to see how my relationship with him goes and I have seen that he has improved a lot. He is looking at with me with more respect uh, because I think he generally is interested in the project. His achievement in schools is just, in my class anyway, has just improved so much. If you look at his test scores for Christmas, they were at a level 3A and now he's at a 5A. He's improved two whole levels in a term, which is amazing. Hugh, the comment there in the video about respect, do you think it's critical and how can it be maintained? The student-teacher relationship is absolutely critical and the concept of respect, a two-way respect, um, is fundamental to that. Certainly the teachers engaged in, in the project um, had a fantastic time and taking those children back into the class and saying, right, now we've got to learn how to, you know, use semicolons and colons properly in the structure of sentences isn't quite exciting. But I think it does carry over and I think there were, what we will aim in the future is to increase the times and opportunities for our pupils to engage with staff in as wide a variety of contexts and activities as possible. The idea that um, pupils can go through perhaps five years of secondary education and not possibly have a vehicle for them to show what they're good at is, is quite sort of disturbing for me. So we're aiming now to give our pupils every chance to show their other pupils, the other staff and the wider community what they're actually good at. Well, I think that's a good place to stop, but I'm sure there'll be more discussion in the pipeline. You can, of course, find out more from our website at teachers.tv. Thank you to our guests, Hugh Derrick, Alex Gibbons and Laura Harris, and thanks also to Adrian Jones. Please join us again on Action Teacher Video, and in the meantime, from me, Xanthi Steen, goodbye.